Jamal Mosley, the Dallas Maverick assistant, is going to be the new head coach of the Orlando Magic. And guys, the, this is all from Adrian Wojnarowski. The Orlando Magic are closing in on Dallas Mavericks assistant Jamal Mosley, and he's emerged as a strong front runner to become the franchise next head coach. And league sources confirms this from Josh Robbins that the Orlando Magic's are hiring Jamal Mosley. So right now they're continuing contract talks. I'm gonna take that as they're hiring. So let's just talk about it, okay? I think this man, Jamal, is going to, you know, be a good head coach. I think somebody that people weren't expecting to be not like expecting like Jamal Mosley is a very good, but what I was saying, I don't think a lot of people at first were expecting him to go to Orlando and we thought he was probably going to be the Mavericks coach. And this is a guy who he's been under a few staffs, started off in Denver and he was there for about five or six years. Then he went over four years in Cleveland and under that he's been since 2014 under Rick Carlisle. And since 2018, he's been responsible for the Mavericks defense and the defensive strategies so what do i expect i want to i want to see the i don't know much about his former jobs what he knows but obviously he's a defensive coach this team has a lot of defensive talent and this is why i believe they're gonna definitely be drafting jonathan kuminga and keon johnson keon johnson with the other pick for a fact, because Jamal Mosley would love that. And let's look at the roster. So, I think it should be, starting point guard should be our man, Markel Fultz. With the shooting guard being, you could argue, Terrence Ross, Gary Harris, or RJ Hampton. I'm a fan that they should just go all young, or if they draft Keon Johnson. I think Gary Harris, yes, he's 26. So he's technically on the young side, but I, I think if you could get rid of his contract so you could go make some moves in free agency, that'd be awesome. Terrence Ross seems like a guy you could maybe flip to a contender for a late first round pick. I would love the starting lineup to be Markel Fultz, R.J. Hampton. If they draft Kaminga, Kaminga at the small forward position, Isaac at the four, Mamba or Wandel Carter at the center, with the backup center either being Bamba or Carter, depending on who's starting. Then backing up Isaac, it would be Okeke. Okiki? That's how I was told. Okiki. Chuma Okiki. Tell me if I said that right. Backing up the four position. And then you're back up to, if you were starting, I guess, small forward Jonathan Kaminga, it'd either be Terrence Ross, or if you keep Gary Harris, it'd be small ball him, or Chuma Okiki could be a guy right there, Michael Carter Williams, where you still have Dwayne Bacon under contract and Dwayne Dwayne Macon Michael Carter Williams could be the veterans for this team if you do move on from Harris and Ross and I like the idea of Keon Johnson and then Cole Anthony being the sixth man but I love the idea of Keon Johnson RJ Hampton like first off RJ Hampton Markel Fultz Jonathan Isaac Mo Bamba and really if they keep Gary Harris that's a, a formidable defensive players like Marco Fultz isn't a bad defender he's got the length to be good at defense RJ Hampton has the physical tools to be good at defense and then you add in Mo Bombo who has the length to be a three modern day perfect three and D big man Wendell Carter I really liked what he showed last year but you know he's never been the defensive prowess guy Terrence Ross has moments but Jonathan Isaac was really looking like an all NBA defender. Gary Harris has always been decent at defense and he's still young. I always forget he's 26 going on 27. So imagine adding Keon Johnson to that. And that is a very, very, in my opinion, great nucleus. I think this is a team that would definitely benefit from Jamal Mosley being their head coach and stealing a defensive mindset that I think they haven't had in a while and it'd be something they'd be very fortunate I think part of the reason why this team is you could say not not struggling I would never say 
struggling, but I think they need an identity. And Steve Clifford didn't build an identity. He's just a good coach for winning. So I think this puts it at what can Jamal Mosley do here? I think he'll make the team's defense respectable. And from there, we can work to going on offense. And he's, he had a great relationship with Luka. So I expect him to be a guy who ends up having a great relationship with Markel Fultz and the young nucleus on this team where people buy into Jamal Mosley for being himself. So I really do want to hear you guys' thoughts. Do you guys think I'm crazy for thinking maybe Jamal Mosley is this, like, going to be this great head coach? I really think Jamal Mosley could be... Not not specific, like a mix of, so Jamal Mosley, I think he could be kind of like the next Tom Thibodeau in the sense that, not like obviously, but like the next great defensive coach, nothing like Thibodeau, kind of like a Thibodeau-Doc Rivers mix where he's a really good player coach who coaches defense up, I think would definitely be, I think, a reasonable assessment to think that maybe that would be what the sort of coach Jamal is going to be. I want to hear those thoughts down below. What do you guys think of the new hiring? I think it's actually a really good one, in my opinion. I think this is a guy that Jonathan Isaac and who, this team has so much defensive potential, and we haven't been able to see it because of the injuries, and now. I think we're about, they got the perfect coach, okay? I don't think there's a coach in the league that was more perfect for them in their situation than our man right here, Jamal Mosley. And I want to, again, like, guys, let me hear those thoughts. Always feel free to leave your comments down below because I respond to, like, 95% of them. <clears throat> so, if you leave comments, I will be responding. And, you know, I love that banter. I love hearing your guys' opinions on what is right and what is wrong. And especially with things I say, because I know I can say things that might be, you know, not controversial, but just not the same as of what other people believe. And that's fine. Like, that's life. Like, you're not everyone is going to agree with what you believe. So I love hearing what you know what do you guys think that's basically me i want to i just like sharing this is why i make youtube videos so i can share and we can talk about sports and just have like a great just great discussion you know isn't that, that why we create videos so we can have discussion good discussion and everyone enjoy what we're doing that's why i do it but yeah let me hear those thoughts down below guys that's basically it for me I'm at eight minutes. Peace out.